Hey there, tubers. How y'all doing? Have y'all heard about this fight that broke out in China's <laughs> Wonderland? Well, leftist media is saying police investigating possible hate crime at Canada's Wonderland. Let's watch this totally libtarded leftist propaganda news piece. <laughs> disturbing incident caught on camera at Canada's Wonderland is being called racially motivated. An 18-year-old woman in a hijab says she was attacked here at the park on Thursday after getting into a verbal confrontation with another group. She says she was spit on and told to go back to her country. <laughs> Cell phone video captures the heated exchange at the entrance to the park. Two groups yelling profanities at one another. One woman eventually throwing punches. In online posts, an 18-year-old woman says she was on her grad trip to Wonderland when the altercation took place. She says not only was she spit on, she was also physically attacked. Her hijab was torn off and she was hit multiple times in the head. I think I'm mo like mostly angered because we know that hate crimes are increasing. The Canadian Council of Muslim Women says these troubling incidents are on the rise. Both physical and verbal hate crimes are becoming far too common in what's supposed to be a multicultural country. Nobody should be going through that. That's violent coming I mean, here in Canada. And we need to stop pretending that Canada is... Supposed to be a multicultural country, says who? Who declared this a multicultural country? That's nonsense. Anywho, this is Canada. That's what it is. It's a Canadian fucking country. You don't like it? Back off. All right, let's finish off this fucking stupid video. The 18-year-old says police didn't handle the situation well at all, even claiming an officer rolled his eyes when she mentioned the word Islamophobia. In a statement, York Regional Police say, Good. You should roll your eyes when you hear somebody use that statement, Islamophobia. It's fucking dumb. That's weak. Fuck that shit. This is Canada. You don't like it? Fuck off. Fuck off, eh? How about that? Hate crime unit investigators have been engaged in the investigation of the alleged assault since the beginning, alongside detectives, adding, we take every allegation of hate seriously and can assure our community it is being investigated thoroughly. The National Council of Canadian Muslims also speaking out, calling the incident extremely troubling. We are now in contact with the complainant. Rest assured, we're not going to let anyone get away with racism or Islamophobia. A spokesperson for Canada's Wonderland also saying that both Wonderland security and police responded to the incident. I hope you don't let those Somali Muslims get away with Anglophobia either. Huh? How about that? What you fail to mention in this news article is the fucking Somali woman started it first by pushing her four-year-old boy out of the way so she could get ahead in line. I've been to Canada's Wonderland. I've seen this fucking shit happen multiple times. And I can... I can back that up and say they looked very Somali to me. Yes, you know those Somali types. You know how they look. Yes, they have a certain look to them, don't they? Yes, they do. Anywho, let's finish up this stupidly insane far-left anti-white propaganda piece from City News. More like shitty news. Quickly and appropriately, she says that both parties were ejected from the park after a thorough investigation. For City News, I'm Tina as Danny. Well, at least both parties were thrown out. It only makes sense. And I hope they are permanently barred from ever ent entering Canada's Wonderland. I think they should let the white lady back in and her family. But those fucking Somalis, no. All they do is cause trouble. I see it all the fucking time when I go to Canada's Wonderland. I go there to have fun, you know? But these fucking shithead Somali refugees of a certain ideology, you know, they make it look more like Somalia's Wonderland. And you know, that just ain't fun for me. It ain't fucking fun. I like to see sexy ladies with, you know, big boobies showing their bodies off and their beautiful skin. I don't like to see these fucking trash bags waddling around like stupid ducks and bumping into everything and ruining fun for everyone. Yeah. Because of that, Canada's Wonderland ain't no more fun. Sorry. That's just the way it is. Yeah, we were supposed to be a multicultural country, says the libtards. And yeah, this is what you get. So diversity is our... is our what? We'll have to rethink that one, won't we? Anywho, go to the Rance Derrick channel or Peter Salemi. I will leave a link to both of their channels. They both posted the same video where they interview the white Canadian woman and get her side of the story. Something the mainstream media failed to do. Because they are very irresponsible. And they only cover things like this and spin it to suit their own globalist agenda. Once again... 
Have a great day, everybody, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. Minxie.